Good morning, it's Jeff and Jeremy. Online at kcfc.com. Don't forget you can text the program anytime on the 805 Beer Lines. Properly chill, live local, live 805. 805 Beer, 805 Beer.com. That's 805 543 3693 are the numbers. Let's look at some close matchups this week. I don't know if it gets any closer than Minnesota, Chicago. This game is being played in Chicago. Uh, Minnesota traveling there. The Bears right now 51% favored in the red zone. Um, I like Minnesota for the upset in this one. I, mean, I don't think it's a huge upset. It's well, I mean, it's very close, but I'll just call it an upset since they're I mean, on the road a, and they're the chance, underdogs. There's a chance in this game that Chicago has zero running backs. <laughs> they're going with the fantasy football strategy of zero RB. Foles is still the guy, right? <laughs> but if you don't have a running back, I mean, it's going to be pretty easy to sit back and just pick off Nick Foles at will. Uh, another close game, Arizona hosting the Buffalo Bills, who just annihilated the Seahawks. They're a 72% favorite this morning. Uh, the Bills sit at 7-2. and two. The Cardinals sit at 5-3. and three. But we've seen Arizona. I mean, we've come. On. I don't think this will be an issue. I don't think the Seahawks were ready to play the Bills last week. I think they got away with a pretty big win. I think Arizona is able to pull this one off. Nope. And I'll call that an upset. Nope. That is an upset. Because the Buffalo Bills will win that game going away. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. So that that sounds like any other neat any no, other. No, but they are playing that in Arizona. So. They are, yeah, yep. in Arizona. You want to know the upset pick of the week? I want to know your upset pick of the week. Of I have it I already do. this early. I went with them last week. I'm going with them again this week. The San Francisco 49ers <laughs> travel <sighs> to New Orleans. Stop it! Coming off of a buy. Stop! Are you or, kidding not, me? Not a buy, but a, a semi buy. The Seahawks right put a big the, slap on this r- r- right before, and they're going to uh, beat the New Orleans Saints. Coming off of a big victory, the the New Orleans Saints are going to come into this one, and they're going to think it's easy, easy uh, pickings here for the San Francisco 49ers, and the 49ers are going to shock, shock the New Orleans Saints. So Not they the lost. Has they to lost to Green Bay. We saw, that was embarrassing. I mean, it was pretty bad because Seattle put a beat down on them. They were banged up. They lost their quarterback. They lost their tight end. They lost two key parts of their offense. And then just a few days later, they have to go out and play the Green Bay Packers. Right. Which I mean, I'm sure most 49ers fans turned it off at halftime. I'm maybe the before this one. I think Shanahan's a better coach than Peyton. Twisted Glaze fan writes in. This is what about the Rams and the Seahawks? I don't know. The, the Red Zone Nation is picking the Seahawks. That game scares the crap out of me. And that should be an upset. I would hope it is, was a wake up after going to Buffalo, yeah, not being prepared last but week. Then but you, you get never the Rams know. coming off of a bye and getting a chance to get everybody healthy, whereas the Seahawks are limping through the schedule right now, especially with their run game. Uh, uh, that'll be back this I, year. I think, Chris Carson will be back. I, think, I can't imagine he will. Well, be. even if he's back, is he going to be back 100 percent? He should be. I mean, he should have been back last I mean, week. I think even they, if he's back one hundred percent, is it still? You know, I mean, you're talking about the Rams' defense. I, this game scares me. The Seahawks might not be the best team in the NFC West, even though schedule and 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 record says it they are right now. I don't know. I think it'll be a shootout, and I think this is another one they should move to Sunday Night Football. But I know they're not going to. But I think it'll be a really entertaining game for Rams or Seahawks. What's the Sunday Night game this week? Uh, the Sunday Night game this week is Baltimore oh, at yeah. New England, forty-one yeah. okay. seventeen. That's my tiebreaker. All right, we're going to come back. We're going to uh, talk to our winner, our MVP in the Red Zone Challenge this week. He's going to pick up twenty-five dollars to go to Pappy McGregor's. He'll get to pick his song uh, for the week, and he's one step closer. I've already given away. It's a guy to getting that five hundred dollars cash, as well as that trip to Hawaii. 93.3 KCOZ. This is your home for the Red Zone Challenge brought to you by Donahue Truck Centers. They're in Santa Maria. Also, Fred Bruin, the Central Coast Realtor. Each week, giving away $25 to go to Pappy McGregor's for our MVP Red Zone Picker. This week, it's Dwayne Palmer of Paso Robles. Jeff and Jeremy. Hey, Dwayne. What's going on, man? Good morning. Congratulations. Uh, got 100% or what? <laughs> you, you're the winner, man. You're the week... Uh, I think you did get 100%. Week 9 winner yeah, in the Red Zone. You got 100% on that one. That's hundred right percent on that quiz. Yeah, yeah, you did well. You almost checking that out. You almost nailed the uh, tiebreaker. Not really twenty eight, twenty one, but it doesn't matter because you got every single game right. 
Absolutely. That's cool, man. Yeah, Thank you, guys. That's really cool. Yeah, well, so, thank you for playing. We yeah, appreciate it. So does Fred Bruin, oh. and so does uh, the folks down at Donahue Truck Center. You got $25 to go to Pappy McGregor's. You like that place? Cool. You like that place? Yeah. Yeah, good. Yep, yep. And, uh, of course, you're in the drawing for the 500 and the trip to Hawaii as well. And what is your favorite artist? What's, what do you want to hear all week? Oh, uh, let's do Metallica. All right. Is that what you put on your form? I think so. Okay. Metallica. I usually, to you guys at, I usually listen to you guys at work. I'm there from 6 in the morning until 5 in the afternoon, but I hurt my shoulder. And now I'm not at work. So I haven't been listening, but I'll be listening this week. Oh, what'd okay. you do to your shoulder? Yeah, uh, moving an engine block. Uh, oh. They call it a rotator cuff. Did you do this? Christian on? McCaffrey just did this to his shoulder. You may not play this week. Are you going to play this uh, week? Yeah, I already did my picks. <laughs> did you? Did, did you? Did you do this on the clock or off the clock? Was this a off, a, off, the, off the clock? Ooh. Oh, you working on your? You working on your car? What are you working on? Somebody else's car. Oh. Yeah, somebody else's car. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Yeah, you know, right. like pushing it around in a crate. They come in a crate, so they're bolted all down and just being stupid. Did that person um, offer to help you out with anything that you need? Like, like I think if you're replacing an engine block in somebody's car and you tear the rotator cuff, that that person has to wait on you hand and foot uh. <laughs> until the rotator cuff At least is bring us some McDonald's or yeah. something. Oh, yeah, they took care of me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or some or some pain meds, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right on. Yeah. That four twenty, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, you gotta you gotta make sure you're comfortable, right? We need to stay comfortable. Uh, all right. right. Well, Dwayne, uh, nice job, bud. Uh, congratulations. I uh, hope you enjoy that uh, twenty five to Pappy McGregor's and continued best luck to you this season in the red zone. Okay, buddy. Right on, guys. Thanks. Subscribe to the Jeff and Jeremy podcast now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, and YouTube. It's your Central Coast commute-friendly podcast.